Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today's for you guys I will be doing a overview on the new Halloween limited time unit uh, Gold tier, yep Yeah guys, I did 6 summons and I was able to get Gold tier in my 6th summon I thought I wasn't gonna get him but luckily I managed to get the uh, double connect thing again <laughs> Yep, that's my god here, guys. I uh, got a guardian type, which is uh, really nice. Yep. And uh, yeah. And he's actually my first uh, limited time Omni unit, since I never had a limited time unit before. So he's my first, guys. And I'm actually happy to have pulled god here in, in only six summons. How you guys are gonna com uh I'm gonna say I didn't pull Galtier in ten or fifteen summons. Well it's all about the lock guys. You you you're only gonna get him if you get that connected thing. Yep. So yeah I'm so let's do the uh so without further ado let's begin. And yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be showing you uh, Galtier's lore as well, his Omni lore, seven star lore. Yeah. So yeah. And by the way, guys, uh, Super Karma Dungeon is currently out in the game. So make sure to farm those levels. It's let's go. It's so you have uh, four days left to farm in this double XP uh, double XP dungeon. XP dungeon, yep. Alright, so I'm gonna make this uh, video really quick. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk very long. I'm not gonna talk very long in this video, so yeah. So his Omni name is Ruinous to spoil Galtier. And he has uh, good stats on his Omni. So as you can see, my Galtier. Has 17k HP, 3000 attack, 4000 defense, and 2500 rank. And that's with the uh, Eternal Armor Sphere, which uh, gives 50% boost of max HP, boost efficacy, and drop rate HP. And of HP, recovers HP every turn. And also Heavenly Ring, which gives 30% boost of max HP, and negates all status ailments, and a chance to inflict status ailments. Alright, so it's leader skill. Uh, it's a really good leader skill. It's called March of the Wild Hunt. It's four percent boost all parameters, boost attack and defense when BB gauge is over fifty percent, probable damage reduction to one, and probable resistance against one KO attack. Well, this leader skill is really good for arena and Coliseum since uh, your units will have a chance to survive any um, powerful attacks from the enemies the opponent squad uh, and they have a chance to uh, mitigate 100% damage which is really really OP well it's basically a combination of uh, Juno Santo and Terry Bogard's leader skill and yeah Galtier is the best uh, leader for Arena and Coliseum in the game now and yeah you can upgrade his 40% boost all parameters to 50% on his enhancements Alright, uh, now he's BB. Shit. Black Harvest. It's an 8 in combo, powerful dark attack on all foes, or 5% damage of foes max HP. So, this is a new ability in the game. And the way it works is uh, he does a 5% damage before applying, before doing the attack to the enemy. But it's, it's the chance is very low. But it's still good. Uh, so he gives great, great boost to BB gauge. My 10 BC. So he fills 10 BC to all allies BB gauge. Boost defense, rel boost defense relative to attack for three turns. So that's by 70%. Defense converted to attack. Uh, I mean, 70% attack converted to defense. Considerably, considerably boost on attack defense rec for three turns. So he gets a um, 
massive attack defense frag boost to himself and that's our 150% boost to his own attack defense's wreck and a side probable resistance against 1k attack so he can give angel idol on speed which is really good yep and his sbb black onslaught is a 21 combo powerful dark attack on all foes for 5% damage to foes max hp it's the same 5% damage to foes max hp on his bb so he'd huge boost bb gauge so that's by 10 bcs as well Ready boost attack relative to defense for she turns. So it's the other way around. So it's the opposite this time. So he gives uh, defense 70% defense converted to attack for she turns. And so it boosts all the gauge and it activates dark barrier. So that's by 10% to the to all the to all allies auto gauge. I mean 10% boost to your auto gauge overdrive gauge and activates a 2500 barrier dark HP dark barrier. Well, it's a um, omni version of Gradens with attack boost and um, BB gauge boost and also um, OD gauge boost. And yeah, we don't use Gradens anymore, so he's gonna replace Gradens for now. And yeah, this is actually good, he can give Angel Idol and dark barrier same time so it's not only useful for you know already that calls him he's also useful uh, for certain content in the game all right and his uvb which is called the stygian legion is a 27 combo massive dark attack on all foes with additional five percent damage of foes max hp so this one is a hundred percent chance so he's gonna deal that five percent damage of foes max hp to the enemies first and then do his 27 combo massive dark attack and this is really good guys for a raid for trials high probability of raising allies from KO so he can revive dead units with a 70% chance that's that's pretty high even though it's not the best but it's still good he enormously boosts attack def relative to defense for 3 turns so that's 250% defense converted to attack and enormous an enormous dam damage reduction for two turns, just 100% mitigation for two turns, and activates dark barrier. Um, so that's 25,000 HP dark barrier. Um, now his UPB is prob probably one of the best in the game, since you can give mitigation, dark barrier, <coughs> attack buff, and revive uh, as well. So yeah, it's pretty OP, guys. And he's actually the only unit that can give 100% um, mitigation and dark bar and barrier at the same time. And also revive dead allies. So he really is a OP Omni unit. And his extra skill. Which is the uh, Mantle of Chaos. It's a probable damage reduction to 1. Huge boost BPH each turn. So basically making him um, tankier. So he has a chance to reduce all damage to 1, and I think he boosts 6 BC each BBH turn. So yeah, he boosts BB 8 BC, 6 BC BBH each turn. So I was gonna easily fill up that uh, uh, BB gauge. Alright, now let's uh, go to his enhancements. For the most part, his enhancements are. Um, they're pretty good, makes them more useful. So here on the parameter boost, he has 30% boost to max HP, 50% boost to attack, 50% boost to defense. On the critical hits, he has negates elemental damage or elemental weakness damage. On a special, he has enhances 40% boost to all parameters to skill effect. So he he can upgrade it to 50% to make him a better leader for uh, trials raid. Uh, 10 percent damage reduction for light and dark uh, damage, uh, but it only applies to himself. So that's 10 percent uh, dark light elemental mitigation. Adds physical attack boost. Just 160 percent boost attack. Adds uh, attack boost for three turns effect to SBB, which is 160 percent boost attack as well. And he has a uh, defense boost for three turns, which is 160 percent. 
and you can get the same defense boost on his SBB as well. And it's all the gauge fill right, so all the gauge fill rate, so this makes him a all the gauge booster and all the gauge filler. So uh, that's around 20% uh, boost all the gauge fill rate, which is good. It has SBB's huge boost attack relative. It has SBB's huge boost attack re relative to defense effect. So uh, it upgrades his attack uh, based on defense. Buff on all allies to 80%. And it has BBC which boosts the defense rate of the attack effect. So yeah, you can upgrade his defense boost attack. Uh, buffed all allies as well to 80%. So um, you can, I think, so from all these enhancements. I think you can only um, have three builds for Kaltir. Well, the one I took is a... Will make him be more useful for trials, uh, raid, any and any hard content in the game. So I took the thirty percent boost max HP, fifty percent boost all parameters attack on SBB defense boost and SBB and all the gauge for rate and BB. So the second build that you can take is this. So boost attack and defense. So that's ten SP. Make a elemental damage. So that's already um forty. So just need 60 more, you can take the, I guess the 10%, or you can take the, um, this two here. Which is the other enhanced SBB's huge boost attack relative to defense effect, and enhanced SBB's huge boost defense relative to effect, attack effect, so that's 100 in total. Or you can take the, um, this two here, just attack boost for three turns to BB, attack boost to uh, SBB, so 40. So you're left at 60 SP. So you need to take this, this two here. Defense boost for three turns effect to BB and defense boost for three turns effect to SBB. So you got 40 now. So the last 60 would be the overdrive gauge fill rate and the attack boost the defense effect. Yep. So those are the builds that you can uh, take for your Galtier guys. And if you have three Galtiers, you'll you'll be able to take all his enhancements, which is really good. Alright, now I'm just going to show you his lore real quick. It's at the um, bottom of the unit archive list I'm going to show you the 7 stars first and then his army right here we go guys where is Galtier yep so this is 7 star form and this is his lore. I'm just gonna so scroll down uh, really slow so you can read read it. And now he's Omni. So basically, uh, Galtier's lore is uh, if his Omni lore is if he didn't lose his sanity. So on the seven stars, um, Samir and Jack was able to help him. So that's why he didn't end ended up on the wrong path. So he didn't become evil in the end. But on his Omni, he became a ruthless. Um, dreaded Knight, so yeah, and he joined forces with Ciara, which is really interesting. 
Alright, so let's have a look at his BB, SBB, new BB. Auto attack. Alright, that looks very nice. BB, Black Harvest. Alright, so he summons a horse. Shadow of his horse, I guess. SBB. That's pretty new as well, I haven't seen that on Google yet. And he summons uh, more horses. And you see BB, called Siege and Legion. Ooh, I like that animation on ZBB. So you see the same horses with some new uh, animations. Yeah. Uh, so, in my opinion, uh, Girl Tier is a pretty uh, awesome Omni unit. He's the most OP in Arena for now. Since he can give that 100% uh, uh, mitigation with a 15% chance and 20% chance to. Uh, Activate Angel Idol on allies. As a sub, he's definitely useful for trials, especially for the newest trial, which is the Strategy, strategy Zone trial. For Raid, for uh, GGC, for the upcoming Kuluk GGC, is gonna be useful there. Uh, what else? For the fr Frontier Gate, uh, if you're calling Bondage, if you're calling Order. Yeah, he's gonna be useful in those uh, trials and um, Frontier Gates. He's not that too OP as a sub, but he is really, really good. And yeah, but the sad thing is he's a limited time unit, so once his rate up ends, you won't be able to get him again. So this is the best um, time to summon for God Tier, guys. If you have gems, if you buy gems, or if you have Pingu, do it. Uh, if you're a pay-to-play to play, pay to play player, player uh yeah just some forgot you guys is a really awesome limited time on the unit and yeah i think that's gonna pretty much it, uh, wrap up wrap up the video guys uh thank you guys for watching uh that was uh an overview on god's resume evolution i hope you enjoyed it uh yeah uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out